Bears are the stars of the new movies out in theaters this weekend. You'll recognize one of them, and the other one you may not know. But here to tell us all about it in Real Talk is movie reviewer Greg Russell. Hey, Greg. Hi, Tati. How are you? Doing well. Good to be here. Well, it's good to have you, as always, yes. and get us ready for our movie watching. But let's start with the movie Imaginary, yes. right? Now, this is going to have everyone looking at teddy bears a little differently. Yes, the <laughs> teddy bear in this one, his name is Chauncey. That's right. Yeah. And what it deals with is, you know, all of us, when we were kids, you would uh, have your imaginary friend. It could be a doll or stuffed animal or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what happens to this one little girl, but then he all of a sudden becomes real. In a good way? Somewhat. Somewhat? Okay. It all depends. You have a clip? <laughs> I got to talk to the director <laughs> and producer, and we had a fun time. Here we go. Oh boy. Here's one where I think everyone will be able to see a little bit of themselves in it. Because like we said, there's always that room again where you go in as a child, open the door, you see a shadow or something. It's imaginary, but it just scares the crap out of you. Yeah, I always think what you can imagine is much scarier than anything we could show you. So this is really a movie about exactly that. So it's the, uh, it, it sh it's, I think it's very effectively scary. Jason, what is it about these movies that we all seem to like? You know, you always tell people, hey, I'm doing this movie. Here's what's going on. It's scary. It's Blumhouse. And immediately they first start out saying, I don't know if I want to go. Then it's like, what time? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a couple of things. I think it's like uh, like it, it's like going on a roller coaster or jumping out of a plane. They they get your adrenaline going. You're resistant, yeah. but you're drawn to it. I think also I think the world is a is is to many of us kind of can be a scary place, and it's kind of cathartic to go into a movie theater and see another family, another world that has nothing to do with your world being scared, right? And also. Right in a way that's very controlling. If, you don't, if you're too scared, you can go to the bathroom. Unfortunately, in the real world, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I think that makes scary movies very appealing to people. And, and that is a perfect answer. I mean, what I mean by that is, yes, it's like, good, it's happening to them. Yeah, not, <laughs> not me. They're okay. Better them than me. <laughs> right. Hey, guys, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Had fun watching the movie. Oh, and Chauncey's there in the middle. Oh, Chauncey. What, hey, Chauncey. Are you, what are you talking about? There's no bear here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. By the way, that's a great performance. That was what very good. Movie? That was very <laughs> good. in a movie. <laughs> Let me know. Okay. okay. So <laughs> uh, we'll have our people call your people. Sounds good. Greg, you're about to be in the next Blumhouse movie. I would love that. You're my people. Call her. Call me. Call I, oh, her. I'll negotiate for you. Hot Just dog. give them my number. <laughs> but they've mastered the art of being scary without being like in your face scary, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's and sad. it's also, they've got to an extent, like the perfect B-horror movies mm -hmm. now. I mean, they're not the big ones, like a Friday right. the 13th or something like that. But yeah, like I said, this one's just really interesting because you'll all of a sudden imagine yourself talking to your imaginary friend, and next thing you know, they're moving in next door. All right, well, they do it well. So how many reels for this one? We'll put it right down the middle, a nice three. Okay. Yep. All right, so next up, let's talk about the movie Kung Fu Panda 4, another movie about bears, but this one is a little bit more friendly. That's right, Poe is back, Jack Black, and what it is is he kind of retired, but now he's being brought out of retirement to help save the universe, like everybody does, you know, nowadays. Yeah. But he's also now got to teach a younger person to do his old job. So it's all about he is now the Kung Fu Panda master. Oh. And sending on, you know, new information, and also, like I said, doing a great teaching job. All right, so let's take a look. You have a clip, right? Yep, we sure do. Oh, wow, look at the time. Remember we had to do that thing down by the place with that guy? <laughs> Did you actually think you could grift a meal out of me? Mm -hmm. There's gotta be some sort of misunderstanding here. <laughs> and apparently I'm the one misunderstanding. Please allow us to pay for our meal and yours too. I'm only hungry for... Dumplings? Vengeance. Well then, come and get it. No, 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 no. don't come and get it. Destroy them! <laughs> oh boy, what can people expect from this one? I hear a lot of famous, familiar voices oh, yeah. as well. According to my friend, her daughter Jenna says, yes! Okay. She loved it. I think most kids will love it. I mean, it's always funny, always a great franchise. And check out these names. I even have to look down at the list because there are so many. Of course, Jack Black, Aquafina, Viola Davis, Dustin Hoffman, James Hong, Brian Cranston, Ian McShane, and also Ki Hong Kwan. Oh my gosh, this is star-studded. 
Star studded. That's right. All right, so where can people get more of your reviews, Greg? Just go to movieshowplus.com and you can find more reviews there as well as interviews, plus a chance to possibly win some great things like all this Kung Fu Panda stuff. This is right cool. Here. We've got like, is this a, a little a pencil? Pack, a fanny pack or, or pencil, pencil case? Pencil case. And then is this like a little this lunch is a lunchbox? Box. Bento box, lunchbox. How cute I like is this? this. And you got some stickers. You got stickers, pencils, you name it, shirts, like, you know, the one I'm wearing right here. So there you go. There you go. Check Greg out online. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Tati.